So we all know I love to splurge on my designer things. However, I feel like I'm selectively cheap when it comes to other things. One way is that I like to do my own nails at home. Hi guys, my name is Celesta. We talk about all things luxury shopping and handbags. If you love those things, make sure to subscribe, hit that bell notification. I do post videos every week. I did a quick calculation and if I am spending $50 every few weeks to get my nails done, I end up spending almost $900 to getting my nails done every year, which like I feel like $900 may not seem like a lot. However, it definitely adds up year over year. Sure, they're not as good as getting them done professionally. However, realistically, I end up picking them off my nails after like a week and a half anyways so it ends up working out so there's two ways that i normally do my nails one is doing press on nails so i'll glue the press on nails and then paint them over so they look more like natural however they don't last very long and they'll last maybe like a week maybe like five days like realistically about five days however the way that i'll be showing you guys today is poly gel and this is how i've been doing my nails for maybe the last like six or eight months at this point and i love it it lasts for at least two weeks assuming i don't pick it off and it's pretty easy and um you get to take your time with it so without further ado let's get into the tutorial okay so this is pretty much everything that either came with the kit or things that i bought separately so starting with the lamp um you do need 70 percent alcohol rubbing alcohol I did get specific dual forms that have a little bit more shape to them so you have less filing but there are dual forms that come with a kit and then I also bought like additional colors as well and the top coat and base coat. Start by giving my nails like a rough file. I try not to file too much because I think it's like pretty damaging but um, we start with the rough file and then we can do a quick base coat. Again, I'm like not a professional by any means, but I do hear that the base coat is very important because there was one time I forgot to add in a base coat and my nails fell off like within a day. So I let that cure for about 30 seconds and then we can move over to the dual forms. So I start by measuring out my nails with the dual form. Because I've used these before, I kind of know like which ones fit my nails, but you want to make sure that they all fit your nails perfectly. And then I mentioned a little bit earlier, I bought these ones separately than the ones that came with the kit because these are already like coffin shaped. So you have a lot less filing to do, which I highly, highly recommend because I am definitely not an expert in filing and or shaping my nails. Once you have all the dual forms lined up, it is time to use the poly gel. Okay, so this is where it gets fun. So you squeeze the poly gel, um, I've used this color quite a bit, so I do really like this color, in, into the dual form, and then you take your brush, you dip it into the alcohol solution, and kind of like smooth it out onto the nail. You don't want it to be too thick, but you also don't want it to be too thin, because if it is too thin, then it starts to break. Um, then you press it onto the nail, it doesn't have to be perfect, but you could clean up the sides a little bit, and then also um, you'll see that you can flip over and clean up these sides and then I cure it for 90 seconds. Once that's cured, I do cure it again for another 30 seconds after flipping my hand over as you can see. Essentially, you're curing the nail for about two minutes. You're doing 90 seconds on the front side and then 30 seconds for the back. You're gonna take off the dual form and then you're gonna repeat the process for all of the other nails. I should also mention that you do not need to rush this process whatsoever. I know the video is sped up, but you do not need to rush, take your time. It does not formally like stay this way until you cure it. So there is no rush whatsoever. So we're just gonna speed this up and repeat the process. I am doing like a slight design on my forefinger, which is like the glitter one, but it's like the same thing. Okay, so this is kind of where we get to the fun part. The nails are now done, so I'm gonna clip it to my length that I want. I did get these like acrylic nail clippers versus like the regular nail clippers, just because I really like that they're so much easier to use and a lot stronger than a regular nail clipper. So we're gonna clip it to my desired length. I am cutting it quite shorter than I usually have it, um, just because I know I'll be working this week and I need it to uh, be able to type. 
Now you're just gonna start filing and shaping the nails. Um, thankfully with the shaped dual forms that we already have, um, you shouldn't have to file too much. Um, but if you just do the regular dual forms that do come with the kit, you're gonna need to file a lot. And I've learned from my mistakes that you need to file a lot. Again, I'm not perfect at this by any means, but it does get the job done and it's pretty easy for the most part. So once you're done filing, I like to go and just like wash my hands and like clear all of the, the dust everywhere. Um, Cause sometimes if you paint the top coat on with the dust, it like gets kind of trapped under there. I don't know how else to explain it, but um, paint the top coat on and then I will cure it for another 60 seconds and then you are done. Overall, it's a pretty simple process, especially once you get the hang of it. Um, it's a little bit difficult like recording while doing my nails, but I'll usually have like this, I'll be doing this and then like play a movie in the background and it's usually pretty easy. Um, you don't need to be too detailed with it or at least I'm not super detailed with it. And it still turns out looking like really nice in my opinion. And then here are the final results. Absolutely love this color and just like a little bit of the accent glitter. Not perfect, but it's good enough. So that sums it up for this video. I hope this was helpful for you. I'll leave all of the items linked in the description box below. I'll leave another video for you guys here and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.